In the race to find treatments for COVID-19, some doctors are trying drugs that millions of people already take. CBS 2's Tony Aiello on one medication that appears to be having some success. At Coney Island Hospital, there is positive news for those admitted with COVID-19 and those first showing up at the intake tent. It's a common asthma drug, Singulair, known generically as Monolucast. Dr. Caleb Hernandez discussed Singulair on a Zoom call sponsored by HolistHealth.com and MDocs.net. We started giving it across the board to everybody in the tent. So everybody yeah. in the tent gets it. and. You know, very few of those are uh, getting sick enough that they have to come into the ER. Hernandez says Singular is helping many hospitalized recover, including one man. He says, I just told my kids to say goodbye for the very last time. He says, after you give it to me, I have hope I'm going to make it through the night. Hernandez found research by University of Virginia Dr. Tom Bracciale indicating Singular reduces inflammation in the lungs. And it may also work by preventing infection of the cells in the lungs that are involved in oxygen exchange. So if those cells are not infected by COVID-19, the immune system won't destroy them and they'll be able to function normally. Singular is not approved as a COVID treatment, but millions have taken it safely for asthma. So some doctors are comfortable with so-called off-label use during the pandemic, especially with circumstantial evidence of some COVID-19 protection for asthmatics taking these drugs. I have great compassion for my colleagues, particularly in New York City, in the trenches. They start looking for alternative approaches. What we need is a powerful, statistically based clinical trial to test the efficacy of, of these kinds of drugs in COVID-19 in infection. Dr. Bracciali is seeking funding for a clinical trial, as some doctors share the success they're seeing with this and other drugs. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.